Hey, hey, this is Ronnie. Woo! What is it? Five. It's 5.30 on Monday the 5th. And it was 86 degrees for a while today again. I closed all the drapes, everything, everywhere. I just walked in the house. I still got some stuff in my car I got to get. Because it was 71 this morning inside the house. And I blocked everything off. It's fairly well insulated. It's basically supposedly close to super insulated. But I'm going to have a beer because it is hot or in here now than it was outside and my truck today was like 90 for a while but you know black truck out in the sun mm. oh don't ever do that i don't know if you can even oh i think i don't know if you can drink beer on tv anymore or not in the movies you know you ain't supposed to smoke but i still see stuff but here you go i never even close open this up moment of truth that's why i need a beer and i'm gonna light a smoke too if y'all remember my video from last fall, uh, the PC board took a dive on this air conditioner. And they went like, it's a $400 air conditioner that was four years old. And the PC board that controls the compressor and stuff, pardon me, I got a cigarette in my mouth I'm lighting. See? Gonna, everything's going to kill you. Don't worry about it. Everybody dies. Get over it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. Where was I? Okay. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, here, 80. 82.6 in the shade right now. It's 85.3 inside my house. I had everything closed. That is, I don't know if I showed you a video of me redoing the circuit board, the PC board. Uh, but yeah, I, it was like 200 some dollars for replace the printed circuit board that controls the compressor and everything. If you could find one and you couldn't get one because they're all sold out because apparently those are their failure point was real as I figured out. Oh yeah, that's my box I took off. That's, they work good. I didn't have to cover the outside this year. I just made my insulation and extra insulation. That's foam board. There's about... Three, yeah, three dollars to cover that, you know, and then push it up tight and use like Gorilla Tape to clear stuff that you can peel back off, put it over that, whew, talk about keeping the cold air out, and then at least the outside, if it does get moisture, you really don't want to totally enclose any electronic, mechanical, air, AC units outside totally in plastic because they need to breathe because they still will get condensation inside and then it starts corroding stuff because the moisture stays there when it does stop snowing or raining and it dries out it don't dry out so yeah that's the way to go i found out now <laughs> three bucks and you know i don't know maybe an hour of playing around and measuring and cutting yeah cool breeze all right here's a moment of truth though i end up taking that pc board out uh, finding what was wrong, which is relays, high voltage relays, and not the 12 volt ones. I gotta find my ashtray. Here we go. One of the high voltage uh, 110 relays, and while it, it was, I figured out which one was smoked. It was a control. I had to I had to trace stuff down, and I had one capacitor that was looking bad on it. So I replaced a few pieces, and it worked when I plugged it in last fall when I didn't need it to cool. Well, it's hot in here, and I'm going to see if it lasted through winter. <laughs> How much? And, and I, I, I want to remember, you, let you guys know the truth here. I have never been to school any type of teaching for, the only thing I went, I went to school and got uh, none credit for welding, and I went and gotten certified myself for stick and for uh, stainless pipe fit back then, and 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 uh, wire in between just for jobs I was doing, and did that all myself. I went to one semester of tech school and paid for it when I was what was I seventeen? Yeah, or was I eighteen? I don't know. Uh, right around there. I went for one, 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 well, that, yeah, there, there, there's, there's a one. One semester for residential electrician, 
And back then it was like 2600 bucks for one semester. And I already knew everything they were teaching me because I worked on the side and helped people and learned. And I actually got paid while I was working and I paid attention and asked questions. And then I, I'm pretty much self-taught. But now here's the kicker. Y'all going to think I'm nuts. Yeah, and I'm rattling on. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Smoke, fireproof cigarettes. You see that? It went out. I was holding it talking. Fireproof cigarettes. If you don't smoke them, keep smoking them. I got air blowing across them. Supposedly they will go out so you don't get burn holes in your carpet like that. <laughs> now that was one that just kept burning and didn't have no air on it or nothing. Ah, it's a joke, but yeah, there you go. That's yeah. They're, they're supposedly, if you drop it and there's no wind flow to them, they'll go out. Well, I'm underneath the ceiling fan right now, and it went out. Eesh, there you go. But yeah, you drop it on the carpet, or even here I'll show you. That's my brother's like. Why don't you replace your carpet and your vinyl? Cause I hadn't stopped smoking yet. <laughs> Burn hole in my vinyl from a freaking end of a cigarette falling off. That is a staple that came through the floor. You know, oh, they'll burn your floor, but they'll go out while you hold them underneath a fan. Yeah, that's some kind of safety government regulation junk, huh? There you go. So something to be aware of. All right, but yeah, I want to fire this up. But I want, yeah, I'm going to put the cigarette down. If it goes out again, oh well. Make sure it's all the way in so if you forget it and it burns all the way down, it don't flip out. Okay, it's called gravity and leverage, <laughs> physics. It burns down, it'll still stay in there. If you put it out here like this and stub it and it burns down, it falls off on the floor and there's still this much to burn. Don't do that. Yeah. But, public service announcement. If you smoke, stop. If you don't smoke, don't start. Stay the hell away from them. <laughs> okay, seriously. Okay, but yeah, I got to do, I did the PC board and stuff on that. And uh, you've seen my other videos. I, I'm squaring up that John boat. I got it about squared up. I know welding. I know electronics, programming with my quads. Yeah, I, don't worry. I'm going to have them out too. Once I get that John boat, we're going down the river. I'm going to have my quads out and fly but not nothing crazy and get some nice little scenic shots over the river while I'm camping out at night. Yeah, don't worry. I got, I, I, I got them. I got to work on a couple of them. I got one or two that work, but I'm busy. Whew, man, it's hot in here. I need a drink. All right, but here's a kicker. I showed how to take this all apart, pull the PC boards out, traced it, found out what was wrong, I've never been to school for any of that. I've never been to school for any electronics on PC boards that are this big, you know, and programming or anything. Said people think I'm nuts. But I can always learn myself. I'm self-taught. I am me. This guy. I'm self-taught on 99.99% of everything. And I wondered years ago, why can I seem to learn and learn correctly myself on anything I want to do? Just like all these parts, engineering. I don't have engineering schooling or nothing. And I'm like, why can I do that? Because I was just pretty much born that way. When I was four years old, I was taking apart transistor radios and putting bigger speakers in them from old blown-up TVs and stuff, <laughs> and just taping the wires on, but everything, rebuilding refrigerators when I was 12 years old, my old Crosley shovel door is still going down in uh, Donnie's basement now with Papa's basement, plug it in, it'll still go from 1941, but here's the truth they told me, everybody, you know, I don't know, if you think I'm nuts or not. I said, how come I can do all that? Well, you got <laughs> you got four lifetimes of experience that they told me about so far that I know and understand. 
They said, you've been around over 2,849 years now. Over, but that's not my lifetime as human. But you take four human lifetimes if you figure average 80 years. What's that? 320. I said, you got lifetimes and lifetimes of experience that you've done and you know how to carry it over. So it all makes sense. But, oh, okay, cool. So if y'all think I'm nuts, when I talk about four lifetimes and uh, my first lifetime was uh, 800 something BC, that's cool. You don't have to believe me. You think I'm crazy. We're going to see self taught. I redid this PC board. Trey sitting there in. Didn't. There's nothing on YouTube or anywhere on the internet how to redo that board because it's a special board for that special unit and they're all sold out because apparently that one really fails and I don't know if it's capacitors that cause it or not but I replaced what I was all in line so now here's a moment of truth but that's you know you think I'm crazy I don't know I know I'm not how can I have so much knowledge on so much stuff and I'm 56 years old and my body's been broken where I couldn't do anything for over, let's see, over my lifetime just here. Well, I died when I was 16, and my body was really good till then. And I died when I was 16, and it was all beaten, bashed, and smattered from a motorcycle accident. But then, poof, I was riding a motorcycle four days later. <laughs> and then we went to a hospital. Woo! Later, all the x-rays I had from other stuff, like, gee, you've been broken here, 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 and here. And, yeah, and hold through your heart and scar, yeah. Uh, there you go, <laughs> from four lifetimes. Apparently, I still got the same body, kind of, for four lifetimes. But they just keep fixing it. <laughs> That's all I can figure. Okay, but yeah, here we go. We're going to fire this puppy up. If it don't work, <laughs> I'm going to have to take it apart again and go, what the hell happened? Because it just sat, okay? I am thinking, I said, I plugged it in. I haven't touched it. I'm honest on my videos. This is what we're going to see what's going to happen. Oh, I need another drink. We're going to see if the baby will fire up. And if it'll cool, and it said it's still 85 in here, 82 outside, it's hot. I said, I've been in a truck over 90, 92 degrees with the wind blowing through it, black truck with no AC, running with a semi and a big old cat motor in the front and big old transmission under it and no AC. It's, it's called MP Global's weight reduction system. Yeah. Never going to get fat <laughs> running this truck all day. Ooh, it's like the human sweat box. All right, here we go. We're going to see what happens, okay? Now I got to go oh, power. Oh, here we go. All right, we're going to hit power. It's plugged in down there. It's never been touched all winter. But it did cool when I before I covered it last fall. Is it going to light? Oh, push me. Hey, we got lights. We got fan. Energy saver. No, I want it to turn on. It. I got it. It's on cool. Oh, I just heard the compressor turn on. And I want high fan. Oh, it had still remembered all that. I got it on high fan. Cool. Took off the energy saver crap. And auto. And see if we get some cool there. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> I could hear that when I went, after I hit the power and was playing around over here, I heard that compressor kick, and she turned on, and it's running. Oh, man. Woo! We're getting a little chillage, too. Oh, that feels good. Wow, I said it's hot in here. But I didn't want to open Dre's phone to show you. And guess what? It's working. Awesome. <laughs> and I had it all apart. Well, I cleaned everything in here and lubied what I could to get to. And Non-owner serviceable parts on any of it. <laughs> You're supposed to spend 450 bucks and then throw it away if a relay goes bad or something like that. And can't get the parts. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Woohoo! She's cooling. 
it's not like 32 yet, but it's been stagnant for five months. Longer it runs now, and I don't know how dusty and dirty the coils are out back. She's going to cool. We got her. <laughs> yeah, baby! Not bad for I don't have a degree in nothing. I don't have a two-year degree in squat. Nothing. I have four lifetime degrees in four lifetimes. <laughs> there you go. There's no way a, a human can know just and be able to do all the things I do. And I'm like, how can I do this shit? And they told me, well, figure out you've been around that long, that many lifetimes, and we ain't even telling you if that's all of them yet. Oh, okay. But they did tell me where I started out, which is now Guangzhou, and uh, 800 and uh, something, a little over 800 and something B.C. on the street is where I died. So I don't know. They never told me when I started, but I know when I was shot, <laughs> executed by one of my best students, and I was a shaman monk. Believe me or not, shot me through the back, got my heart. Scar's still there, and that's why I had to have a stint put in it, right? When they said they put a stint in, I had a blocked artery. I said, is that scar tissue? Oh, no, it's fucking for me smoking, but... Yeah, no, that's what happened. And, yeah, yeah, it just ended up over lifetimes. It wasn't totally closed up. It was just slowing down. It was still over 60%, but I could feel it. Like, yeah, so here's what happened. You maybe got to get that checked. So, yeah, they opened up the hole that was totally scrooged. But, yeah, I said, that dude never got off the mountain. That dude, and I said, they, I just, don't stop him. But, what's that? Some bitch wiping you out, which is meant to be. I told my other students, don't let him off the mountain. He never made it more than a minute. <laughs> that was all she wrote. And then the second class guy, student, took over for me and the uh, way I see and what they've showed me did awesome <laughs> but yeah I'm still drawn back to that street where I died in Guangzhou yeah, it's pretty cool I got photos of it I want to go back there again it's just so cool it's so calming and relaxing when I go there and all the noise it's a giant probably 10 acre walkway only giant huge 20 story high in outside this is mall all, all the way around and it's like this big giant open courtyard for a half a mile with that street under glass that they saved and I'm right at the end where that cobblestone road started is where I'm comfortable and I was right so there you go think I'm nuts or not cool breeze uh, I, I said I believe in God no problem I don't know about, you know, organized religion sometimes. Yeah, they're fine for me, but they're not for me. But don't worry. There's a God. Don't worry. There's a God. And there's the evil part and the devil. Don't worry about that. Those are facts. But your mileage may vary. But yeah, oh, hey, she's starting to cool pretty nice now. I did it. Oh, there you go, kids. It's that easy. Go back and <laughs> go back through and watch my videos of me redoing this thing. Couldn't even get the parts for 200 bucks. Well, I did it myself. I never rebuilt a PC port on an AC unit before. There you go. Cool breeze, man. Hey, uh, sun's still out. I need to put this way. Go out in my car. Peace. Love. Have a heart. Have a heart. And if it didn't work tomorrow, so it was a new day, I would have had to try to do it again. But there you go, I got it. But just something to think about. You know, people can think whatever they think of me. Most of them think I'm nuts. But then when they see what I do, they still think I'm nuts, but they have to admit I can do what I do, and they can't explain. Same as me, except my explanation about why I can do everything I do without ever being to school or anything. I'm a natural at that stuff because I'm a special freak. Yeah, I love it. I love y'all. Tomorrow's a new day. Make your week best you can. <laughs> Don't be a Debbie Downer, gloomy guster, hiding in the corner, doomsday. Get out. See all the beauty. 
that's out there. Yeah, might not be pretty pretty, but don't be sitting in between the wall hiding. Get out. Love you all. I'll be back. But yeah, there you go. There's my explanation. That's the only explanation I know. And I, No, I'm not the best at everything I do. I'm one of the best at what a few things I do, but there's so much I am very, very good at that I should have no clue at. Okay? And I'm honest. God and the universe work in very mysterious wonderful ways you just got to tap into it you all got it i told you that before you're all special at something maybe it's just one thing or it could be special at all kinds of things you just got to open up your mind and your heart and don't be brainwashed by whatever and feel you and who you are and then go for it <laughs> worst thing you can do is Stay where you're at. You probably can't mess up your life any worse than it is by trying. Just don't go in debt trying on a failure waiting to happen. All right, that's the, there you go. All right, I love you. Have a good one. Sorry I dragged this out, but no, it's so cool. It's working. I love it. Yeah. I love you all. If you watch, cool. If you think I'm nuts, cool. That's fine. Uh, what you all think of me has no effect on who I am as my human self at this time. But I want to show truth, and I want people to understand me. But if somebody hates me, well, hate me. <laughs> That's your prerogative. Well, you hate me, and yeah, okay. But when they get nasty and mean, like a like that other freaking chat group room boom boom that invited me in that's private and then all I did was come at me yeah the commie piece of shit bastards <laughs> yeah and I, they kicked me out before I had a chance to leave that one day you know eh, bunny ears oh, bunny ears minus one to you I said yeah and I'm on my phone but I get home I'm gonna get on my laptop and I'm getting the hell out of your freaking junk yeah and something about a patriot Cigar smoking patriot was uh, private, so you can't get at it anyway. But yeah, yeah. Once I joined and was making my videos and showing truth, all of a sudden all the haters come out of the woodwork at me, and I fought back. So yeah, they locked me down. They said, "Don't be talking like that to our members." Well, they're lying and coming at me and saying shit, telling me have a nice life, you piece of shit freak. Uh, I said, "Hey." Piss off. <laughs> Piss off, you psycho bitch from hell. I know evil when I feel it, and you're evil, and this is not a way that normal humans act. And you're a psycho freaking troll. Well, then another one come at me, and another one come at me, <laughs> and then the boss, Ronnie, stop it. Stop what? Standing up for myself? Well, then I said, I'll kick my, I'll get the hell out of there when I get back home to my laptop, because I'm busy at work. Well, they shut me down out of there before I got home. That's cool. That's that's what you do. Don't hang around evil people or any kind of crap like that. Be who you are. If you're not hurting anyone intentionally or even unintentionally and you're being you and trying to improve and be the best you can or at least always be honest, don't take that crap. Don't take no shit from nobody, man. You are who you are. You're not a group of mass, like I told you. Every human is different for a reason. You're supposed to be different. Okay? That's the only way the human race will survive is from people being different. If humans are all the same, self-destruct in, in a, like three generations. Guarantee it. I love y'all. Talk to you later. I will be back. I promise. I'll see you later. Ciao.